Hey everyone, Coach John Davis here. So you can tell by the hat, I'm an Oriole fan. Are you done laughing at me? Because it, it's no laughing matter. But seriously, when I was a kid, growing up, 70s and 80s, the Orioles were the team to beat. Best record for 25 years. And what we often talked about was the Oriole way. The Oriole way was about standards and performance and how you did the job. But it was more than that. It was about how young people were developed and mentored through the organization and the culture of winning and performance that was created. I've got some books here, tons of books. Um, this was a good one. It talks about the Oriole way, right? And it was all about a lifetime of experiences, four decades of magic from 33rd Street to Camden Yards. This is what I grew up with. The expectations set by these icons, Brooks Robinson, Dave McNally. It was just amazing. So one of the outputs of that is probably the most iconic Oriole, it's Cal Ripken. So I'm recording this today on Labor Day, which ironically enough is the anniversary of Cal Ripken breaking Lou Gehrig's record. Uh, he played in 2,131 games to set the record. Uh, he finished his career with 2,632 straight games played. And these weren't candy, like pinch hit at bat type things. He played every inning of every game one year. Uh, I had a game I played and the Orioles didn't have a backup shortstop. It was a card game, it was like Stratomatic. They didn't have a backup shortstop because he was the only one who, could play, who ever played shortstop in that, that entire year. And, and as a result of that, you know, Ripken's written a couple books, right? The only way I know, right? It's the way he learned the Oriole way. Having a culture of training and development and high expectations not only helps you then and now, but it develops people for, the later, for later on in their lives and later on in your business's career. So he's written a couple other game books, Get in the Game, right is a good one you got to be there the elements of perseverance that make a difference you got to be in the game to make a difference and then ultimately you need your own method he wrote the Ripken way okay so what's that all mean well for you as a leader have you set your standards have you set your culture are you developing are you training your people so that was the Oriole way it led to success unfortunately they've lost their way so people laugh at me when I wear this hat um, but it's also developed some incredible standards and some incredible icons uh, that people still admire today. So if you wanna learn how to create your way, give me a call. Give me a call, reach out. We have many, many different methods and tools and systems and just working together, we will find the way that works for you. So I'm Coach John Davis, the Action Coach. If you like this, please share it, please like it, please send it on. Have a great day and a great week.